Okay, I'm taking this quick video to take a snapshot of the progress for the uh, wireless electricity demonstration setup. And we have here the transmitting coil. Nick, I was not able to use the toroid on the transmitting side since um, that would have required me to alter the um, number of turns on the resonator and I didn't want to have to do that. I just don't have the time. So I just jerry-rigged the antenna on the transmitting end to be able to allow it to operate at the resonating uh, frequency of 318 kilohertz. And that's why uh, I have that wire sticking out there. This is the um, transmitter resonator. That's the pancake primary. That's the MOSFET. It's fed by a 28 volt DC power supply and that MOSFET is being switched via a square wave generated by the function generator and the switching is at or, at or around the 318 kilohertz. I'm taking shots of this um, transmitting end before I powered up because it um, interferes with the audio of my uh, camcorder so I can't really go near it later as I have it powered up I can't go um, take videos of it that's the motor going uh, that's attached to the uh, receiving end of the coil and that's the receiver right there our humble little uh, toroid with a neon lamp if you can see that that'll glow once it resonates with the um, transmitter and that's our resonator which would now be our primary on the receiving end the primary coil and there's our secondary coil where we um, get the power from to uh, drive the motor and I connected it to a meter for current measurement currently we're getting around uh, 70 to 80 milliamps output which isn't bad and that's the motor right there you'll see that spinning later on and before I forget um, the motor is attached to two rectifiers for um, DC conversion okay this is the setup with it powered up and that's the motor it's picking up at least around um, 6 to 10 volts DC and um, current reading is at 82 milliamps that's our receiving end. I don't know if you can see that the um, neon lamp is glowing and uh, we're at 318 uh, kilohertz. One other thing I wanted to show you is the waveform that's coming out of the transmitter and that's how it looks. One other thing I wanted to show you was the um, fluorescent tube um, just to make sure we got that base covered during the demo and um, oops where's the tube there's the tube and as I bring it closer to the secondary the receiving end um, it's about, it lights up at about the foot to the uh, foot from the toroid it's um, it's brighter and uh, it's got greater distance before it lights up um, at the primary side um, let's see how do I turn this off okay I'm turning it off I'm now going towards the primary I mean the transmitting end 
as you can see it's on I put in some lights for effects on the uh, motor make it look more presentable when we're um, doing an on-stage presentation and once again this is um, where the uh, I connected the ground for the receiving end and this is where I connected the ground over there for the um, transmitting end.